Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to give you my thoughts on the 2000s Fantastic Four movies. That being Fantastic Four, which came out in 2005, as well as the sequel, Rise of the Silver Surfer, that released in 2007. And, uh, you know, I have a history of these movies. I, Upon memory, anyway, I was about 8 or 10 years old at the, at the time. Um, of course, well, yeah, nine, 9 years old upon the release of the first one. Um, so I, I do think I at least seen the first movie in theaters, or at least one of them. Um, I owned, well, <laughs> my family owned both of the movies on VHS, so I watched them a fair amount, you know, via that. And, uh, you know, with, with all the hype around the new new film coming out in the next year or two, I wanted to uh, revisit these. And rewatching these was uh, more of a joy than expected. Um, I've always really liked the Thing character, and I've been kind of rediscovering my, uh, you know, passion for that character, as well as just my enjoyment for uh, the team in general. I've even been rewatching the uh, 1994 cartoon, and uh, let me just say I do think these two movies capture that sort of spirit, um, that sort of vibe of the style of the team, you know, from the cartoon fairly well, and the comics. I really don't think these movies are all that bad. At the time, I didn't, and now I really don't don't think it is either. Um, it fits in quite nicely with a lot of the uh, 2000s, you know, comic book films. Of course, the, you know, how good the Spider-Man films were. I personally really liked uh, Punisher and Daredevil, um, X-Men, you know, Blade, etc. Um, I think all of that could have fit into its own, <laughs> own little universe. Um, I, I always thought the casting was pretty dead on in these movies. I think, uh, I can't pronounce his last name for some reason, but Ian Grufford, I, I think, is actually really, did a really nice job as Mr. Fantastic. Uh, say what you want about the effects on the thing. Um, practical, I can see how they're a bit dated, but I do think Michael Chiklis did a solid job as the character, pun intended, and uh, Chris Evans as the Human Torch Johnny Storm, I think, uh, was actually, uh, you know, pretty dead on. I think he nailed it. Um, Jessica Alba feels a bit like, okay, I don't really buy Jessica Alba being a scientist. It sort of feels like she's there because she's attractive, and it's kind of a hot ticket item at that point. Um, she doesn't do a terrible job, though. Um, and again, I do think it captures the spirit of, uh, you know, the cartoon and some of the, uh, some of the comics fairly well. Um, the thing being my favorite character, one of my favorite comic book characters. Uh, I, I, I have a preference for the first movie just because they play more on his psyche and sort of depression, you know, that comes about with uh, his, you know, condition, what he's become. Um, I really enjoyed that about the first movie. Uh, you know, but that being said, I, I, I did like Rise of the Silver Surfer as well. Um, Doug Jones played him, which is cool. Lawrence Fishburne did his voice. I don't know why they didn't just have Doug Jones do both. Um, Silver Surfer himself, I think, comes across fairly well. Uh... I love Galactus, so just getting what we did in Rise of the Silver Surfer, I'll admit, wasn't that satisfying. Um, but, you know, I think they could have followed up with it in some way if they ever, uh, you know, did a third or fourth movie, which, of course, they didn't. Um, I do have a preference for, again, the fourth one because of the concentration with the thing, but also just because the origin, I think, worked a little bit better. Um, Rise of the Silver Surfer, it's a lot on uh, Reed and Sue's uh, wedding, which is fine. I just have a preference for, uh, you know, the first, you know, kind of origin story. But they do go hand-in-hand hand fairly well. Um, Doom, I think uh, the actor is decent. I, I think they could have uh, done a bit more with him, but I do really enjoy uh, the final fight for what it is in the first movie. Um, I don't find there to be as many memorable action set pieces, or at least uh, moments in the second movie. Um, which was odd with a character like the Silver Surfer, but there are some decent sequences with him. Um, but yeah, overall, I could uh, you know talk here off for a bit longer, but I, I really do think both these films are pretty good for the time and still pretty good now. Um, I don't really see why they have the reputation they do. Now, I'm not saying these are perfect movies or you know pristine films or anything like that. I think it encapsulated uh, what it should have. It delivered what it should have. Uh, both of them fairly well for the most part. Um, like I said, there were some, you know, there is some datedness with the, you know, the thing suit and everything like that. Um, but I think these both hold up better than they're given credit for and are both fairly enjoyable. I give them both like anywhere from B minus to a B plus.
somewhere in that frame. And I think that's pretty fair. I, I liked him then and I like him now.